Hey y'all, welcome back to The Ranch. I'm Jared Paul, and it is a cloudy, rainy day out today, so I'm gonna take advantage of that and get kind of squared away in the house. I got our subtropicals and tropicals brought in um, last week or so, and some of the leaves did not uh, respond well, so they're kind of turning yellow and falling off. So I am going to finally figure out which of my trees are a Delonyx Regia and Blue Jacaranda because I originally started this playlist from the Planner's Choice Bonsai Starter Kit. And I've always thought that my main tree was a Delonyx Regia. I've always called it that, the flame tree. And then um, I thought I had some Blue Jacks kind of sprout up at other times and then some more flame trees that I got uh, sent from a friend down in Florida, Broski down there, um, they sprouted up in, in bunches and I haven't sent a few of those out. Um, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that those are all uh, Delonyx Regias, but I think some of mine that I thought, especially my original one, is actually a Blue Jacaranda. So I am, I am going to, right after this intro, I'm gonna go get on Google and I'm going to find out definitively, I think it has to do with the end of the leaf here. I believe the flame tree has that V, inverse V going in. And then the jacaranda ends almost like in a point. So yeah, I'm gonna go look that up so I could confirm it. And we're going to get to defoliating, maybe some light pruning, and that's what's coming up on today's episode of Jarhead Bonsai. All right, so Laura's looking all that up on the iPad. You see what I'm working with here. I don't even want to move this thing to... Uh, to take a look at it. So I think I'm gonna do a little test and use my vacuum here. I usually use just the long one, the long part, and it's like specifically for dog hair and animal hair, so it's perfect for our house. But it's got some fun attachments. A little Dyson. So I want to, I've got some nice river pebbles in here. I want to be able to suck it up without sucking those up. So let's see. I switched it from max suck to high suction. Yeah, I thought maybe having the little brush at the end would kind of work them off the branches here. <laughs> Good test. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm still making a mess. <laughs> oh, sucked up a rack. Hmm. I saw the branches are just well the, these aren't branches. These are actually their leaves. So we'll just probably prune that off. All right. So this is of the same generation of the ones I sent out to Ian at Back Garden Bonsai, Bonsai Jay, and Nigel. And I've seen updates on pretty much all of them, and they're looking about the same. I don't know what is different about this, but. This one's been growing nice and thick and relative to the branching and it's nice in size. Where like this guy just always wants to get leggy and tall. Well, maybe because that's a blue jack and this is a Delonyx Regia. I guess we'll find out. I'm gonna finish vacuuming it up and then we'll get that info. All right, so here we have it. So up above the Jacaranda, I was correct. So I've been wrong for a while. <laughs> I don't have to um, even change that playlist, but um, the main one in the window with the finer fern-like, um, that is the jacaranda, and the wider rounded ones, like the ones I sent to my broskies, 
Those are the Delonix Regia. So now I know for good. Um, cool. So I'm thinking that just uh, naturally um, this one stays a little smaller. Doesn't get so leggy. I don't know. Probably remove all of those. This is my oldest blue jacaranda. <laughs> and you see it's all yellowed up. I'm not worried if you're watching this thinking that my trees are dead. Um, any drastic transition in temperature inside to outside I always make these things yellow up and drop some. And even a few times a year they will drop their lower branches at a minimum. So they're pretty... They respond pretty well to getting hard prunes, so I'm not really worried about just the defoliation. And, um, yep, so you see these are Delonix Regias. The rounded leaf. There's a whole group of them under this avocado, so I just let it all kind of grow this season. I think I'm still going to try to leave the avocado as much as possible and uh, just get these figured out. And this is actually a cutting from the Mama blue jacaranda one of the few cuttings i have gotten to survive and it was just so long i i had a hard time tossing it as you see i mean that was just that was like one season's growth um so these grow very tall and leggy although now after five years i'm really starting to get a little bit of uh, ram i pruned this thing back hard as hell last year and it responded nicely so all right, uh, as you see, the vacuum worked really well on this one. Just had to take my time. And I got the little bunny, white water rafting, around a nice piece of local rose quartz that I found. And I don't really think I have to do anything to this guy. I'm just gonna leave this. This will fall off eventually, and it's probably gonna start sprouting out some new growth. You see the nice healthy green inner nodes. And this is where it was pruned originally, so I'm thinking this whole little stem is dieback. Um, so maybe I'll prune that off. But otherwise, I'm going to vacuum clean that one up, get to this one, and we'll take a look at some branch structure. All right, going into Stella's room. As you see, she's been very active playing this morning. I think we read about 11 books. <laughs> a couple of them about three times each. Um, Oh, it's a lot of fun though. All right, I think I gotta get the flash on here. Do I need that? Is that gonna help? All right, so as you see, we've got a planting of three blue jacks back there, and they're almost five years old as well. So they are very, very small, grown from seed. And over here, I just gave this a repot and a pruning. This is a Delonix Regia that just popped up in a a long ugly pot I had in here before and so I just gave it a little repot to follow its own shui. Same kind of shape on the trunk. And it's just really dark outside and we don't have much lighting here. So sorry if you can't see that. What I want to show you is All right, so what I wanted to show you is a little technique I've talked about before. And you see, this is the apex, the longest branch. And this is where it would kick off some new growth and create two more of these. And I'm just going to simply pick my fingernail and pinch it. So you just pinch that off, bada boom. Next tree, same thing. Find a little new growth, pinch it off, and lastly, this one over here, and just pinch that off. And then, what you're looking for, and what usually can happen, you don't put the trees through much stress, especially these where you have to prune them multiple times a year. 
um, and what you're looking for is them to kick off some back buds down below because I would love to have these you know about that height of that other Delonyx Regia shorter than this one I like to have these about here the three of them with a cool canopy so we'll see I might just have to get a hard prune leap of faith and go for it okay so that one's already done these are done I just hit the main branch there's some smaller branches but by not uh, pinching the the tips on those nipping them tips um, it allows them to have their full energy and catch up you know like down here smaller branch than this so I left it alone let it get some energy without disruption that's kind of how it is they each have a couple of branches but one main one nip that tip so definitely that's a big recommendation on in my opinion hey Stella what you doing baby you riding your bike? We've got her 15 month appointment. We've got about to go to a huh, baby. <laughs> I'm still watching you. <laughs> All right. Man. The colors are nice out there this autumn, but. The day is not. Tons of rain going on. So this one here, you may remember from about a month ago, I gave it an extreme hard shot. And it really responded well. What is that? It's probably just a little cobweb. No insects. <laughs> but yeah, this is a blue jacaranda. Got a really hard chop, and it's got a new leader coming out nicely. For now, it's working as a hanging plant. I'm trying to do some more hanging plants with bonsai, seeing what species will work just to um, keep it out of the Stella zone. <laughs> Right, so the vacuum did a decent job. It was just, it was falling everywhere on the way over. So I'm like, you know, before I start messing with it, it's in my beard and everything else. Let me go ahead and hyperlapse it. So while I was setting up, Stella was being a little hellion. So I forgot I put the tools back in the kitchen because every time I turned around, she was grabbing for the scissors. So, this is the front. So it's got a nice little shui to it. That was all natural. This is right where I pruned it its first time. And I've taken it down hard a few times. It's gotten a little leggy. I had some kind of winding around one at one point, but just wasn't attractive and even now that these two where they split they're kind of coming in they're growing very close together for two thick branches so it almost makes me want to chop the whole thing like back to here <sighs> I'm not gonna do that in a transitional time so like I mentioned earlier, if you don't have one of these, these are not branches I'm nipping off. This is the same as nipping off a single like maple leaf. They just happen to have hundreds of very little leaflets, I guess you'd call them, on their, their leaves. I'm not pruning anything that's a branch because a, br a branch means a potential divide. So I'm just doing this to actually get an overall look at the branching and canopy of the tree without like just some gnarly old yellow ones looking at me. All right. So I could probably push it a little closer see what we're working with so it comes up 
nice and thick and strong. It's got a slight taper, and then this branch is almost as thick as the trunk. So I think I'm gonna do something drastic. I wasn't going to, but now I am. So this is just never gonna be good. So I'm going to take it out. Boom, boom. And most likely, I'm gonna to try to root this because that would be a hell of a cutting. <laughs> um, but most likely, this part will die back and I either get something down here or this is the new apex and we'll develop some branch structure from here. Yeah, that was totally uh, out of the blue. Wasn't anticipating doing it at all. But after looking at it, you know, I'm looking at this and I'm just saying, it's kind of fugly, you know, They're, it's not attractive in any way. So it's good when the canopy's out and it's nice and it's summer and it looks pretty because you're looking at the nice trunk and then this big green canopy with pretty long, elegant leaves blowing in the wind. And then you start to look at it and it's like, well, it grew up too quickly and I don't like it. So, not much more to do with that, huh? There's a nice healthy green leader here. Um, a little bit of dieback from a previous pruning here, and this may or may not be a dormant one here. But I'm assuming in a week or so, if you haven't done this pruning on this age of tree, or even this uh, species of tree, the blue jacaranda, um, it's gonna get little green bumps all over the place. I'm really hoping for maybe maybe one down here and add to that or maybe a couple down low and we can keep that single trunk to there. But either way, that is as low as I've pruned it, I believe since it was eight months old and we are at five years in February. So very cool. So to root this as a cutting, the only time I've had success, I kind of drag my scissors down along the trunk line, exposing some like um, very light green, some a little darker green, and then some I just left as the actual trunk. And then I'm going to dip that in rooting hormone powder. I think I have the miracle Grow one, and I'm just gonna stick it in some soil and water it in, and hopefully it takes. This is this would be a very substantial cutting for it to take. I imagine if it does, I'll probably have to cut off most of these branches and we'll get like just one shoot coming out, but no sense in wasting it, right? So there you go, people. My oldest tree, not my flame tree like I thought it was, but my blue jacaranda. It got a severe, severe pruning. But as you see, that branch, it's already as thick as the rest of the trunk. No, no time for this guy to catch up. It would just be completely unbalanced. So longest time between now and getting outside again. So I think, screw it. Since I did that one hard pruning, but I left this guy intact, I'm anticipating some serious growth going to that one. So, yeah. All right, so I may or may not um, treat this one on camera and show you, but like I said, that's uh, as basic as you can get, really. Just dip it in rooting hormone powder. If you don't have that and you don't want to spend any money, I mean, that stuff goes a long way. I got it once four or five years ago and since you know a lot of the trees and plants that I use for cuttings don't really need it I haven't used it that much but I will with this one so let's see if you can get the full view of this bad boy I have to back it up yeah, let's back it up so going in we've got I counted six Delonyx Regias and you notice 
these leaves rounder and then it's got that reverse V shape at the end of each leaf whereas blue jacks you see they come out to a point so I know they're not the healthiest but you can you can picture it, right? All right, so here we go. <laughs> Look at that avocado the thing just goes up. So I'm not touching the top of that. But if you're wondering, like, what the hell is this guy thinking? Like, having an avocado with six Delonix Regias and then another avocado with black locusts. Well, they weren't planned that way. And then when they happened, it was like, all right, well, let's see where it takes us. So I think more or less the blue, um, the black locust I'll remove probably next year because that's a tree that's grown <clears throat> outdoors here. So it's pretty cold hardy. So I, w I should allow it to go into dormancy. But since it's with an avocado, it just goes from outdoors to the upstairs indoor part of the house so it never really drops below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Alright, let's bring it up. Boom, boom. And boom. There we go. Alright, bring it in a little bit. Alright, now we're talking. So let's see what we can do with this group of Delonics here. So I vacuumed it up nice, so I'm going to remove all those little leaves. See some little parts from die back from the one or two times it's been pruned. And I see some new growth. So transition it indoors on this guy, success. Mm, got a little bit of sticky stuff. Don't know that it's scale, but potentially scale. So I had gotten some nice organic um, spray the other day for some scale, and I used it. Those that was on my pineapple guava forest, and it hasn't reacted in a bad way. So I'll keep you updated on that when it starts kicking off new growth. My Schaflera root over lava rock that I did for a video a couple of videos ago. That has really kicked off a lot of little baby growth, little green buds popping out everywhere, really exciting. So I started selling a lot of these um, cuttings, if you're looking for cuttings, on my wife's Etsy page, The Roar Store. And more and more cuttings are going to be listed on there each day as we go because this is the season where I do a lot of uh, my tropical and subtropical prunings and sometimes I keep them sometimes I don't but now that the Roar store is up and running I will be keeping them and rooting them doing the hard part for everybody uh, and you could get a cool little pre bonsai tree of your own Right, starting to get there. I can't tell if I'm going to, I don't think, I think with the healthier growth that hasn't yellowed up, I'm gonna leave it. There's no sense in printing it off. There's no problem. So if you can see here, this is actually really exciting. This is some bud back from this triple trunk avocado. So the avocado sprouted up in this planter. Um, I was like, cool, and I must have recycled some seeds that I tried to germinate um, a bunch of these Delonyx Regius uh, trees in. 
and then after I would say a year at least well no at least like I would say a growing season went by and then all of a sudden all these little Delonics started sprouting up and I was like all right well avocado over Delonics for us why not so this avocado is starting to get woody these leaves although bigger than the other avocado that I've had in training for about five years five six years um, much smaller than you you would see um, even when they first start out you'll get a few leaves off of one single trunk and they get big you know, maybe six times this so yeah I'll take off there's a little bit of dye back from a previous pruning here probably is here Oh, it's green under there, so it didn't die all the way back. It just kind of hardened off, so I'm not going to do that to all of them. You know, a lot of people believe, and I am one of them. If uh, you have a fast-growing tree and you can get some extra prunings in, you can get some extra division and uh, branching uh, within one year or whatever. If you if you have short growing seasons, you can almost trick the tree into giving you double the branches it normally would be able to. So, yeah, if you're new to these and you have some questions, cool. I haven't seen that many old ones on YouTube, but if you have some info and you want to lend an ear, I'd appreciate that. So none of these are really tall, but I will at the apex do what I did earlier and go ahead and pinch off that new growth. Nip the tips. Just right down the middle of all of them. That can also force some back budding. And these are doing just fine. Growing nice and slow. I've got gravel in around them. I'm starting to get some woody trunks on all these guys. And with the avocado, I, I want these things to bear some fruit. So as long as I could let them grow in the current pots that they're in and uh, the leaves don't re look ridiculous or spotted or yellow or anything like that, I'll probably let this thing uh, go until this time next year. And if I don't get some fruit, I will reassess. But we're getting into the year where you should be able to get some fruit. So, I guess that's going to do it for today's episode of Jarhead Bonsai, y'all. Um, might be a little bit longer than normal, uh, but it is a really cool tree, and it's my longest playlist. So, finally I got it right. I figured out which was which on all of the different ones that I have uh, as far as varieties go. So, Delonix Regia or Blue Jacaranda, very quick and easy lookup. I think that the Planner's Choice Bonsai Starter Kit I originally got had the two flip-flop, the Blue Jack and the Delonix, because I know I was hyper-focused on that and looking at it multiple times a day, so I really don't think I made that mistake, but now I know. Um, to my Bonsai Broskis out there that have helped me along with these trees and uh, the ones that are growing, the ones that I sent you, hopefully you're enjoying them as much as I have, and uh, yeah. So from my family, yours, you all, cheers.